welcome to another video. My name is Sarah, Princess Penny Pincher, PhD. If this is your first time with us, we're happy to have you. We'd love for you to leave a comment down below. Tell me how I'm doing. <laughs> um, if you are returning, then hello to you as well. We are happy to have you back. Leave a comment down below as well, just to say hi. Today I'm gonna to bring you a Dollar Tree haul. I've actually been hoarding a lot of these items, um, so it's been multiple trips. I'll try to break it into manageable chunks of video, so it may end up being a two-parter or even a three-parter. Yep, that's how much stuff I got at the Dollar Tree. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. So I'm just going to be taking these out of the bag. So it's going to be a little noisy. Uh, just bear with me on that. Um, it is early spring here, getting ready for the summertime season, and Dollar Tree is on point with their summer stuff. Uh, I have some clips from when I was walking around Dollar Tree, and I'll show you those at the end of this video. But they have all their stuff for graduations. They have all their stuff for Fourth of July coming up and or Memorial Day, I should say. Um, excuse me. And just summertime, like tiki, beach, party theme, all that good stuff. I actually ended up getting two of their new um, bottles. And I don't actually think these are new. I've seen this design. I'm not sure if they're new to Dollar Tree. Uh, I haven't seen them at Dollar Tree is what I should have said. I've seen this design before. I just hadn't seen them at Dollar Tree. Um, and so they look like, you know, just like a, a beverage bottle that you would buy. Um, they do include the straw. And it's a huge, long straw, as you can see there. Um, the top actually comes off, so you could drink it that way if you wanted to. But why I really liked it, and this goes just to show you how lazy I am, uh, ease of clean, ease of cleaning. You can take this part off. I mean, come on, that's that's just wonderful to me. And really nice, really really good volume. I'm trying to drink more water. I'm trying to see if it says no. It just says bottle with straw, but that seems like a pretty good amount. Like if you fill that all the way up to the top, that's going to be a lot of water. I have a teal one um, that's probably this size and it's 35 ounces. So if I had to guess, I would say this is somewhere close. So I got this green one. Green is my favorite color. I collect frogs. It just reminds me of frogs. And then I also got this, I don't know, it's kind of like a red, pink, coral. It's definitely pulling more that, that types of red than like a deeper blue type of red if that makes any sense, <clears throat> excuse me, but I got two of those, like I said, I really am trying to drink more water, so I was very happy with that, and then I also got one of these, just a pitcher, um, this is a two liter pitcher, again, summertime, I'm always making tea, whether it be traditional like sweet tea, because I'm from the south, or green tea, love me some green tea, just had some for lunch today. Um, but I also make limeade, love homemade limeade, love homemade lemonade, and for a dollar, I use these over and over and over again. I have a couple in my refrigerator right now that I've been using for at least two, two years, two, maybe three years. Oh, they have a bunch of different colors. Moving into more home stuff, like I said, I am going to just be taking these out of the bag, so bear with me. Um, what I thought were just the cutest things ever are these sink strainers. Sink strainer. Oh, it's falling off. Hold on. Um, I've seen these in multiple designs, and I can't tell you off the top of my head what they all were, but I just thought these were really cute. I have uh, double sinks in my kitchen and I thought these would be really great just because I'm always dropping stuff and I don't know about you but I always worry about dropping stuff into the garbage disposal so I thought this would probably be a good way just of keeping you know random spoons from falling down there 
But I got this one. It's um, like an ice cream popsicle motif, if you will. The patterns on there. I just thought that was really cute. Again, not really something that goes with my um, kitchen decor, but it's going to be in the sink. I don't, I don't really care. Um, and it's kind of got a clear, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like a clear base, if you will. Whereas this one was my absolute favorite. You can probably tell why. Uh, it's donuts. Love me a good donut. Uh, this one's got like that pink, uh, hot pink fuchsia-y base, I guess, if you want. Uh, but I just love this. And like I said, the, the design's got me. Uh, so another thing that comes with moving, at least when I'm doing the moving, is scratching up your furniture. So <laughs> when I saw these, uh, it says furniture scratch markers. I thought, might as well give them a try. You get a cherry, a maple, and an oak. And I have um, furniture in all of these colors. So I definitely <laughs> thought I would uh, get these to try them. Um, I should say, most of my furniture is antique. Um, I inherited it from my grandmother, and so I will not be using these on that. Um, I will more than likely be using these on the furniture that I have purchased myself, i.e. the stuff that came from Ikea and or Walmart or Amazon. But, again, I will be trying them. This says that they're waterproof, dries quickly, help cover scratches and scuffs on wood, blend the three shades to match your furniture. So, like I said, for a dollar, I'll try them. If nothing else, maybe I can use them in a DIY. So, also while I was in the hardware section, I guess is what it's called, the Dollar Tree, I found these, and I'm not going to say them right, carabiners, carabiner clips. Carabiner, is that how you say it? I don't know. I said something else the other day, and my friend Janelle laughed at me. Um, but I got this pack. It's a pack of two. They even come with the keychains. I don't know if you can see that, like the key ring. Key ring, that's what I meant. Um, I have a lot of keys, and this is not something that I'm used to. Uh, I have a lot of keys for my condo. I have a lot of keys for work. And so I just figure if I had them on something like this, it would give me, I don't know, a little extra measure of security so that I can clip them onto my purse and they won't fall into the bottom of my purse. Or if I'm working out or walking, I can clip them onto my pant loop and then I'll have them. Um, and I'll probably also use these for my car keys. Um, my car is one that, if, as long as you have the key on you, you don't have to like stick it in the ignition. So uh, I generally don't take it out of my purse, but if I don't have my purse, then I kind of need the car key. So again, just thought these would be very useful. So two for a dollar, didn't think I could beat that. So now we're going to kind of go into the realm of kitchen stuff. I know the sink strainers were kitcheny, so now we're going back to that. I actually ended up picking up two of these spatulas. I really like these. I don't know if they're like scupula spatula, but it's like a spatula, but it's also kind of like a spoon. Maybe it's a spoonula. I don't know. I could just be making up terms. I don't know. But I really like these. I like that they don't like pull off. I'm not pulling, so it could just be I'm really tired because I've been working out, but um, I like that these are kind of very sturdy. Um, some other ones that I have, these pull off way too easy. Um, so I got two of these, just the white, and then it has a clear handle. Really love these. Use them in baking, cooking all the time. So what you may have noticed in this uh, video cut to this point is that I spent a lot of time in the hardware section. And I got a lot of stuff, and you're probably like, Okay, that works. Uh, this being one of them. Yeah, so I saw this and I thought, you know what? I need a handsaw. I need a handsaw in my life. Um, and it's a 12 inch, it just says 12 inch handsaw from the 12 inch hardware. And I mean, it looks pretty sturdy. Again, I don't, I don't know much about handsaws. Uh, if I had an electric one, I'd probably be even happier, but I figured for little projects, little DIYs, having a handsaw w would come in handy. So I'm trying to be uh, not so random, so I'm going to stick with the same hardware theme. 
Um, I picked up this pack of brushes. It's just a pack of three. You get three different sizes, a two inch, a one and a half inch, and a one inch. These again are from that Greenbrier company, the Tool Bench, Tool Bench paint. Yeah. Um, I do like these. I, I think I've used these before. Um, I probably won't use these for my interior painting, but more so DIY projects. Um, truth be told, I'm going to have someone come in and paint. Only because I have nine foot ceilings and they're going to be painted as well. So, I ain't got time for that. But, DIYs I have time for. And I think these are going to be a great uh, additional tool to my DIY arsenal. Okay, seemingly random. This is a napkin holder. You can see the little tag there. A napkin holder. I actually didn't get this for the kitchen. <laughs> this is going to go into my guest bathroom. I have um, like paper towels. Um, I guess they're called guest towels. Guest hand towels maybe. I'm not sure. Anyway, I got this to hold them because I thought that would be a lot easier than just having them like laid out on the vanity. So I got this and it's going to go in the guest bathroom. So last kitchen-y type item I think don't hold me to that because that could be lying, is this Melamine Spoon Rest. You see it here. Um, I've just got one in plain white. I also have one from them that is um, just like a metal one. And uh, to be honest with you, I don't really like that one as well. So when I saw this one, this one is a very sturdy hunk of Melamine. Is it Melamine? Is that what I said? Yeah, Melamine. It's nice and sturdy nice good weight the metal one is almost too flimsy so it doesn't like almost the weight of the spoon that I put on it makes it kind of flip over and so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and get this one and I know sorry it looks like I'm gonna beat you with it I won't I promise uh, but I got this one again just plain white I don't really have a theme to my kitchen so you can't go wrong with white after I left the hardware section of it all, I went to the cleaning section. I actually picked up this dish brush. Um, little story, you can fast forward if you don't see it here. Um, I didn't have a next the next item that I needed, and so I had to use my dish brush as a scrub brush to clean my bathtub and my shower. So I had to replace it, i.e. Why I was also on the cleaning aisle was to pick up toilet brushes. <laughs> so I actually picked up two of these. Um, I like just a simple toilet brush. These, again, just plain white. Uh, come with a very simple toilet brush here. I think you can't really see it, but nothing super fancy. I, when I was at Ikea, if you watched my Ikea haul, haul video, um, I got a lot of good deals on stuff, but they did not have any toilet brushes that I liked. My friend Janelle ended up getting one that she liked, but it was almost, I mean, almost the same kind of quality as this one. So I just picked up two of these for a dollar. They're going to last me a while. I don't think you need to spend a fortune on cleaning products like this. As long as it gets the job done and, you know, it's not... The nastiest thing in creation I think you're fine um, also I wouldn't feel bad about tossing this if it got really nasty so pretty happy with this purchase and last but not least while I was on the cleaning aisle I picked up some lime away destroys lime calcium and rust caused by hard water buildup thick gel formula toilet bowl cleaner I have never used this lime away for or I've never used lime away as the toilet bowl bowl cleaner but I do have like the Lime Away like all-purpose cleaner. So I figured um, these would be pretty good. I'm going to put one in each bathroom just to see how they work. But fingers crossed they keep my bathroom smelling fresh and so clean.